Well, it happens here this week. We're heading to Carlisle, where an art project is helping to build a sense of community. It happens here in Carlisle, 22 miles northwest of Boston. This rural community was dubbed City of the Woods by Henry David Thoreau. It's home to the first dairy farm to use a robotic milking machine and once housed a studio where artists like Aerosmith, Rihanna, and Lady Gaga all recorded music. And if you've driven through this town of about 5,000 recently, it would be tough to miss this field of red. Debbie Bentley came up with the idea for the Carlisle Poppy Project four years ago when she saw this display in her native England to mark 100 years since the start of World War I. I thought, wow, I would love to do, bring this something like this to my hometown. It took several years of planning and a lot of volunteers to create and plant over 3,000 handmade poppies surrounding the town's memorial to the First Great War. It goes really fast. Pat Hayes put down her afternoon it's book and picked up a crochet needle to pitch. In. <laughs> so how many poppies did you crank out? About 1,100. 1,100 poppies. Yeah. It was just really wonderful how everybody in the community came together. We had little kids stapling poppies and mothers teaching daughters how to crochet. How do you think it looks in town? Oh, I think it looks wonderful. I'm going to hate to see it go. So this exhibit will stay in place until Sunday. Then it will be moved to the local cemetery there, creating a path between the headstones of those who died in World War I. Debbie hopes to replant the poppies on the common next year for Veterans Day, and it looks so cool. Yeah, and that's amazing that the whole community came together and just started crocheting. Yeah, I love it. I love Carlisle.